Equestria Pony Summit. You delegates have traveled far and wide to represent your cities as we seek to celebrate and learn from all the unique places that make up our wonderful land of Equestria. At tonight's welcome reception, Princess Cadence will dedicate this beautiful friendship statue made up of gemstones from each of your home cities. to turn things over to the one who organized the summit, Princess Twilight Sparkle. Thank you, Everypony. With delegates from over 50 cities attending three days of conferences, receptions, and meetings, this is the largest Grand Equestria Pony Summit yet. And let me tell you, putting it all together has led to more than one sleepless night. We're so excited to have you here and to learn more about life all across this great land of ours. And now my faithful assistant Spike would like to say a few words. Um, hello every pony. I'm here to help any way I can. So if there's anything I can do for any of you... We love you, Princess Twilight! We love all the princesses! <laughs> I guess every pony loves a princess. <sighs> my little pony, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. A magic makes it all complete. she gets some rest today. She'll never be able to attend the welcome reception in this condition. Can I count on you to see to it that she isn't disturbed? I promise, I won't let you down. down a little. Oh, no! I'll give you birdseed. Worms! Anything! Just please stop singing before you wake the princess! Oh, I can't believe that worked! Fellas, uh, sorry to break up your game, but there's sort of an important diplomatic summit kind of thingy going on, and it involves a princess needing to sleep, and, uh, uh maybe you could move your game somewhere else? Uh, the princess thanks you for your understanding. Excuse me, do you have to do this right now? Oh, no. Are those dragon sneeze trees? Uh, yeah. Oh, these are too top-heavy. Wouldn't take much to bring these beauties down. Can't you just wait a few hours? Sorry, it's a public hazard. I got my orders. Well, I've got my orders, too. But Princess Twi... Twi... Twilight... Uh, yeah. 
Princess Twilight? Oh, why didn't you say so? Gee, I reckon they'll keep a few more hours. Huh. Good thing I got the princesses on my side. Yes, the noise. Sorry, but we can't have a broken water main. What? You couldn't do this yesterday? Hey, pal, I'm just trying to make sure everything runs smooth for the summit. But there is no summit without Princess Twilight, and she needs things to be kept quiet around here. So if you don't mind, I... All right, all right, if that's how she wants it. But if something happens, it ain't my fault. Princess Twilight will be rested, Princess Cadence will be proud, and Princess Spike deserves a little reward. <laughs> Princess Spike. <laughs> Where are you shopped then, all right? I work forever on this speech, and I know I have more... Uh, hi, uh, can I help you? My friend here, the distinguished pony from up Manhattan and I are, are in a bit of a pickle, and we need the Princess Twilight to resolve it. Uh, can you talk a little quieter? And maybe come back later? Oh, sure now. Gosh, I wish we could, but uh, we're both supposed to give speeches about our local economies in five minutes. And we've been booked in the same hall. I had the room first. And let's be honest, my speech is more important. Point of order there, sir, but I think you'll find that my speech is the more important one, don't you know? Look, yous is going to have a lot of unhappy delegates on your hooves unless we get a ruling from Princess Twilight right now. Uh, let me see what I can do. <sighs> Does something need scheduling? Oh, uh, yeah. Two delegates have speeches booked in the same hall. What do I do? Okay, no problem. Just put the hay in the apple and eat the candle. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I need an answer. My toilet can't even think straight. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? Well, what did she say? She picked me, right? Eh? Hey, 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 let's not be too hasty there, good sir. I got a feeling she went with me. Hey, <laughs> if she didn't pick me, it ain't hard to see that as an insult to all of Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? And it'd sure be a shame to see something like a scheduling issue create a nasty old rift between Minneapolis and Ponyville. So, what did the princess say? Come on now, spit it out. Um, she said that, well, she said that she, she wants you to share it. If that's what the princess wants, what are you gonna do? The princess is always right. Now, Listen, there you no go. hard feelings, this is not about you and I me. I have no hard right? feelings. I mean, this is... Uh... Now, back to more important things. Combining those two talks was a disaster. The hall was overcrowded and the speakers just shattered over each other. Huh? But... Why would the princess have made such a decision? I was really looking forward to the don't spend all your bets speech, but when I went into the hall, a pony had taken my seat. A pony who used to be my friend. Your friend took your seat? <laughs> Big deal. Why don't you just... No offense, but I don't need some random dragon's opinion. I, I want to hear what Princess Twilight thinks. Ugh, fine. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, the princess says no friendship should end over a seat. You should forgive your friend. <gasps> of course! Oh, the princess is so wise. Oh. I could tell these delegates anything as long as they think it came from Twilight. All right, who's next?
how can Princess Twilight be of service? Well, as host city, the Cantalot delegation feels it's only right that we should get passes to every meeting and party. Yes? Well, that doesn't seem fair. I mean, Princess Twilight doesn't think that seems fair. Eh, uh, yes, yes. Very well. It was worth a try, though, wasn't it, old chap? Hmm? This is great! I just took care of a whole bunch of stuff that Twilight won't have to worry about when she wakes up! Wonder if any pony else needs the princess's help. If I can check a few of these meetings off Twilight's schedule, then when she wakes up, she won't have to think about anything but the reception. Uh, says here you have a meeting with Princess Twilight? Uh, your furs. She wanted me to prep her on all the different gemstones in the Citizens of Equestria statue before the reception tonight. Okay, go ahead. Um, well, I'd rather, um, tell the princess directly. Well, if it helps, you can call me Princess Spike. No, 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 it, it, it's all right. Uh, the princess asked me to take care of a few things for her. That's why I came to find you. Uh, if you say so. The princess says so. Uh, okay, let's start with Topaz. I'm here for your two o'clock. You? But I'm supposed to be briefing Princess Twilight on the progress with the water main. I speak for the princess. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, can I start fixing it again? I'm getting a little worried, to be honest. Actually, Twilight still needs a rest, and her no-noise policy is still in effect for a few more hours. Sorry. Hey, Spike. What's going on? Uh, you know, just setting them up and knocking them down. What do you mean? Not only have I kept things quiet so Twilight could sleep, I also took care of all her afternoon meetings so she won't have to worry about them when she wakes up. Are you sure she'd want you doing that? There are so many things to keep track of at this summit. Nah, don't worry. I got it covered. I know Twilight so well, it's easy to make decisions like her. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for keeping Twilight's stress level down. As long as that's the real reason you're doing it. Well, why else would I be doing it? You're not enjoying speaking for Twilight a little bit? Enjoying it? <laughs> no way! The only things I'm doing by order of the princess are for the good of the summit. Princess. By order of the princess. By order of the princess. <sighs> princess life is good. It sure is, but it's also hard work, isn't it? Eh, it's not so bad. Spike, I'm concerned you might be abusing your relationship with Twilight. What are you talking about? I'm a great princess! I mean, Twilight's a great princess, and I've been working hard to help her! When two delegates had a falling out, I'm the one who fixed her friendship. I listened to that pony drone on about gems for 45 minutes, so Twilight wouldn't have to. I moved a polo match away from the tower so she could sleep, and I didn't even eat that delicious-looking statue. I'm a decision-making master! <sighs> Okay, so maybe I did get a little carried away making decisions, but it's not like anything bad happened.
the statues okay? Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, bless me. Oh, my! What is the meaning of this? Well, uh, you see, there was this polo game and... How could you let a water main burst on Cadillac's most important day? Hey, don't look at me! Princess Twilight said to stop working on it! Well, what about these trees? I ordered them trimmed to avoid just such a situation. Well, the princess told me to stop, Bob. Why would the princess make such horrible decisions? This all could have been prevented. Please, everypony, listen! I'm so sorry all this happened! What are you apologizing for? These were Princess Twilight's awful decisions. I'm about to blow my stack on Princess Twilight, I'll tell you that for nothing! Yeah, me too! I'll not let Princess Twilight give Cantalot a bad name in the eyes of Equestrian! Come on, every pony, Let's go give her a piece of our mind! Yes, yes, yes. Please! You've got it all wrong! What is it now? There's an angry mob here that demands satisfaction. It's just that uh, we don't want to wake the princess, do we? Wake her? What? You're telling me that she's asleep? <laughs> <laughs> princess, we must speak at once. She is sleeping! <sighs> <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Spike. We've got a lot to do. Do you know if the water main was fixed? Uh, you seem well rested. I haven't slept like that since I was a filly. You haven't? Well, at least I got one thing right. And it was the one thing Cadence asked of me. Maybe I did do a good job today. <laughs> Like that. Fancy pants, what's wrong? Don't play games with me, princess. You know why I'm here. Is this about the special privileges you wanted? Because this seems a little extreme. The special privileges? The last thing on my mind is special privileges. What's going on, Spike? Um, you needed to sleep. And Princess Cadence told me you weren't to be disturbed. And there was this bird, and well, long story short... I made a few decisions on your behalf. A few decisions? Well, maybe more than a few, but I had good intentions. Honest. Until I didn't anymore. I'm sorry, Twilight. I guess I got a little carried away. It, it just felt so good to have ponies caring about my opinions on such important matters. I guess I was just enjoying feeling like a princess. Well, Spike, one of the most important things a princess can do is realize when she's made a mistake and fix it. How do I do that? You could start with them. <sighs> uh, hi there, every pony. So, I guess I owe you all a pretty big apology. It's funny. Here we are at a summit that brings together ponies from all across Equestria. And all I could think about was myself. You all came here to celebrate the things that make each of our cities so unique and special. But instead of getting into the spirit of things like all of you, I used my friend's position to make myself feel good. The Cantalot Ruby goes here, old sport. And ours goes here, don't you know? Does this mean you forgive me? Sure! You know, the whole 
idea of the statue is that when each of us plays our own small part, it adds up to something great. Quite. Just like how all our cities make up the beautiful land of Equestria. I hereby dedicate the citizens of Equestria statue to every pony who plays their part, no matter how big or how small. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! 